turning now to a grim milestone in the Middle East. Over the weekend, we marked 100 days since the terror attacks that ignited the Israel-Hamas war. Israel is showing no signs of slowing down, vowing to increase its military pressure. Meanwhile, Hamas released a new video showing hostages still being held in Gaza. NBC10's Raul Martinez has the details. There was yet another attack overnight on American forces in the Red Sea. Iranian-backed Houthi militants from Yemen firing a missile towards an American destroyer. It was shot down, according to the Pentagon. It's part of the widening war in the Middle East. And it's been 100 days since Hamas launched a surprise attack that Israel had once dismissed as impossible and unimaginable. No, I got money. Overnight, Hamas released a video of three hostages, including Noah Argamani, who became a symbol of Hamas cruelty when she was kidnapped from a music festival and taken into Gaza on a motorcycle. The Israel government says at least 100 hostages are still alive in Gaza. <laughs> the fate of the youngest hostage, Kafir Bibas, and his family remains unclear. Kafir, kidnapped along with his mother, brother, and father, turns one this week. I want this to be over, really. I want them back. I want them back. The 2.3 million Palestinians in Gaza have gone through 100 days of living hell since the Hamas massacre. Around 24,000 have been killed by Israeli strikes, according to the health ministry ran by Hamas. Israel says it takes great care to warn Palestinians before carrying out attacks and says Hamas uses civilians as human shields. Gazans say since they can't leave the area, even while it's under attack, they are all, by definition, human shields. Dr. Noor Al-Wahedi is one of hundreds of thousands of Gazans forced by Israeli troops to leave northern Gaza for the south, where people are overcrowded with barely enough food, water, and medicine. 100 days of suffering, of tragedy, of uh, loss, of feeling afraid. Raul Martinez, NBC10 Boston.